Our question is differentiate between the two branches of chemistry, organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry. And we have to give examples for both. So organic chemistry. Organic chemistry is dealing with the carbon compound which has carbon, hydrogen and oxygen in them. For example, methane that is CH4 and methyl alcohol. These all compounds contain carbon, hydrogen and oxygen and they are belong to organic chemistry. Inorganic chemistry includes the study of oxides of carbons, for example, carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. They are oxide of carbon. Then carbonates, they are CO3. Bicarbonates, they are HCO3 and H2CO3. So these are the compounds which are belongs to inorganic chemistry. All the acids, hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid and nitric acids are also belongs to inorganic chemistry. Examples are carbon monoxide, carbonic acid that is H2CO3. So all these compounds belongs to inorganic chemistry. Our question is state how carbon occurs in free state and in combined state. So in free state carbon occurs in two major forms in earth crust. First one is crystal form and second one is amorphous form. The example of crystal forms are diamond and graphite and amorphous forms examples are coal. So, so carbon occur in nature in mainly two forms that is crystal and amorphous. Combined state carbon occur in three different ways. In atmosphere it is present in the form of carbon dioxide. It is also present in the form of hydrocarbon in natural gas and petroleum and it is also present in plant, animal and wood in the form of carbohydrate and mineral.